or all your fun under the sun, your vacation starts on Beach Television. You're watching BTV. watching BTV. Hi, I'm Bob Ricker with Baker's Hardware Power and Turf. Today we're going to talk about three very important springtime things. One, we're going to start with your lawnmower. Let's get it up ready for the grass cutting season. Two, let's talk about your lawn and get it up and green and growing. And three, the fun stuff, let's talk about your barbecue grill and getting it ready for cooking. Stay right there, we'll be right back. Husqvarna, taming the wild. See the complete line of Husqvarna premium power equipment at Baker's Power and Turf, Route 113, Millsboro. One of the spring chores we have to do every year is to get our lawnmower ready. This year and a few years in the past, we've had to deal with ethanol. Ethanol, as you well know, is a little bit of alcohol that's in the gasoline. It causes several different problems. Gasoline with ethanol in it can separate and it also can absorb water out of the atmosphere and put water in your gas can or in your gas tank, which will cause your mower not to run properly. Along with being concerned about the gasoline and keeping stabilizer in your gasoline, we also need to think about prepping the lawnmower for the spring cutting season, such as changing the oil in the oil filter and, most importantly, putting air filters on your lawnmower. Lawnmowers are air-cooled engines and the air filter is the lifeblood of this machine to keep good, clean, fresh air in so that it cools the engine and it also mixes with the fuel for great combustion. Another very important thing to remember about lawnmowers is that they're tools, they're not toys. 
and as tempting as it is, it's a very dangerous place for your kids or grandkids to ride. So cut the grass and then play with the kids. Ever cut your grass and an hour or two later take a look at it, it's got that brown tinge to it? That's a direct indication of dull lawnmower blades. It's extremely important to have nice green grass to have good sharp blades all the time. Another tip is to don't cut your grass too short. It's very important to keep that grass at about three inches. It shades the other grass blades and gives it plenty of surface to absorb fertilizer and water. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. It's grilling time. A few things we need to talk about before we get to grilling. Let's start with safety with propane. Many of you this year will be cooking with propane, so it's important for you to understand that before we get into the season, and even before we start cleaning them up, let's check those tanks to see if we're full. Also, very important to check for leaks. Checking for leaks is real easy. A Little bit of soapy water in a spray bottle, spray all the connections, spray your hose to make sure before we get going, we have no leaks at all with propane. And don't forget, the new tanks that have the OPD valves, once they're disconnected, if we lose the propane in the lines, it's a little tricky to get those things lines filled back in and get them working properly. And now for the messy part. It's time to actually clean the grill. It's important to clean your grill once or twice a year. And this one it gets used quite a bit. It's important to use a good scraper to scrape down your cooking surface and scrape down the surface inside. But remember, all good grill enthusiasts know you don't want to get rid of all that good stuff in there because all that stuff in there can lend to the good taste of barbecued food. A couple of safety tips that we really need to know before we get cooking. Number one, if you're cooking with propane, always make sure that the lid is open before you ignite. If not, vapors can accumulate inside there and when they ignite, it'll open it for you. A few more things about charcoal grills. More is not better with lighter fluid. Small amounts of lighter fluid go a long, long way. And again, long stick matches or long butane lighters are the safe way to ignite your charcoal grill. Once we've tested everything and we're ready to ignite it, don't forget, almost the favorite food of spiders, believe it or not, is propane. So if things aren't burning quite right, it's probably a good time to take a look and see if we've got any spider webs or any spiders hanging around. Sun, surf, fun, and memories begin right here. Your vacation starts with a trip to Beach TV. BTV is coming up next.